Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just go ahead and create some buttons with Ionic because what is the use of an application without buttons, right? So we're going to make use of the component called Ion button in this case, and it accepts a bunch of props. So we can start with the color. And if you have used any sort of theming function, uh, theming sort of library, you know that it ships with colors like primary, secondary, tertiary stuff like that not really tertiary but anyway so we can just go ahead and start with hello world for a button right and if i go ahead and write primary inside there you can see that by default it takes just a blue uh kind of a blue button right here it's material all that implemented by ionic itself if i change this to secondary you're gonna see that we have a little change in color and this is primarily customizable in ionic themes but uh, yeah i mean you can just go ahead and customize this right here inside this theme variable file and inside theme variable.css right so we're going to go into variable.css and you can see right here i have secondary set as this so if i go ahead and change this to a little bit of orangish and reddish shade you can see right here it just reflects like that and obviously we have to change these shades as well right so yeah that should be it and you can see now it just works like that so anyway i'm just going to reward it to primary uh, i mean what it was before but yeah we have the color prop we have other props as well for example i can say it ex expand to you know full and once i do that you're going to see it takes the full width of the screen now instead of just uh sticking it to the uh, to the left of the screen which was happening earlier other than that, we can also have ion icon right here, right? So we can have a bunch of properties here as well. So one of them is obviously the key. Second one, okay, we don't have it highlighted here, but I guess it was name and I can name it a star, right? So once we do that, we're gonna see, we don't see anything yet because we gotta give it a slot. So slot basically determines where it would be placed. All right, so the reason it does not really show is because Ion Icon requires you to import the icon as well as of now. So, for example, we can get star from Ion Icons, icons, right? So once you have the star with you, what you have to do is instead of the name star, just give it a, a icon of star. All right, so once you have that, you should be good to go so you can see uh you have the slot stat so if i remove this you're going to see that it shifts a little bit to the right because uh right now it's just acting as if it was a part of the text but if i give it a slot start it shifts it to the start of the button if i give it a slot end it shifts itself to the end of the button so yeah that's how it's going to work so anyway that's how you're going to create a little button for yourself with an icon right and yeah that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next video